This is gonna change everything. You know, and I stake my fucking reputation on that shit. Two twos actually flopped and um he was supposed to quit. He was supposed to resign. Somehow he didn't. You think you could do this to me? King Kong ain't got shit on me. Okay. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. What's up, my people, and welcome back to the channel. Well, go on. Hopefully, everybody's having a beautiful day, a positive day. Hopefully, everything is just blessed within um within your lives. Yeah. Hopefully, there's no troubles, there's no problems, and if there are, sometimes you're just gonna have to keep it moving. You know, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Today is just a discussion, a you know, just a time to just mix it up a bit you know talk to the people talk to the subscribers and so today i've literally finished and this there was a particular goal for this video and um, i wanted to talk about an anime called fractal yeah but i want it more like in a discussion discussion sense at first i was thinking okay you know let's 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 write up a whole script you know and i have many scripts that i just haven't jumped into i just haven't done gotten the time to edit them and to, to record and then edit onto them so i was like oh i don't want to i don't want this to be another another silent voice because i have a script for silent voice that i've written ages ago still it's still just there in google drive so i said you know what fuck it let's just turn the camera on because that's what i do these days yeah these days if i'm deep in something too long I just move i just move because i realize you you you'll be trapped in this cycle this mental fucking prison of consistently overthink i don't know i'm an overthinker so I, I i try to break myself out of that these days you know what i'm saying so this anime i finished today and um let me just even just cut straight to, straight straight to the point i think this anime was okay more than okay it's above average no i think i think this anime in my point of view i think i would give this anime a, a eight a eight a hard eight you get me boom it can't get no more than that that's where it's at that's where it's gonna stay it's never gonna reach above that yeah yeah eight <laughs> And the reason for that is because this is how I view this is how I view anime these days, yeah. If you're able to get me to watch to, to consistently click next, you know, you got some animes. I don't know about you, but you got some animes that you'll jump into and it's okay. But when bedtime comes, you're gonna go bed. You know what I'm saying? But then you have some other anime that might not even be the best of anime, but the plot line and the story build up is is decent enough for you to say, okay, you know, fuck it, let's just let's let's see what episode two is saying. Oh shit, raw. This will let's see what episode three is saying. Like it's not. Oh my god, this is the best thing in fucking anime in, in the whole century of anime. This is the best thing ever, nah. But it still has that that unique sense of creativity to keep you watching, and that's what I think Fractal 2011 is. Yeah, original story Fractal. I did. I took. I took down. I did a little few notes just so I can have it there. Yeah. So this is Fractal 2011. Let me just let me just pull let me just pull that up as well. Let me just let me pull that up as well. Yeah. So from this, let me see if I can even zoom this in. Okay. So this is an, my my anime list here, yeah? and um, I haven't even logged in, but this is this is Fractal, and you can see it has a score of six point two six point nine two. Yeah, and that's not. That's not fairly bad. It's been done by A1 Pictures. Yeah, it came out 2011, winter 2011. Just to keep in mind, this came out with heavy hitters. <laughs> this came out. This came out with the likes of, I think, um, Madoka. Yeah, Stein Gates. This this when they were hearing as well. Yeah, so ain't like this just came out and be like, yo, there was no contenders. This came out when there was contenders. And I don't know, for me, I like a good um adventure. I like a good adventure anime. A good a good story. Something built up. I've said this before. Yeah, I need a plotline. I need something that's gonna intrigue me. Something's gonna engage me to keep watching. Yeah. So Fractal Fractal started off um with mystery for me you know i'll be seeing i'll be seeing these these droid type things his mom and his dad is a droid um and in, in, 
instantly i'm curious the, the the whole art style i found very nice as well i didn't mind the art style you had bits where it even got better than some and you got bits where it was more average like and stick to its own original art style yeah but i found it interesting from the start from episode one where the they built up the whole story of this one boy human boy and he's surrounded by and at first i was like is this is is he is he on is he the only human there and then i saw other humans running away i saw there was a lot of droids type thing that somehow disappeared at some point so i was like there was just intrigue mystery starting off the whole the whole um episode okay so this anime did not do good in its time it it <laughs> it crashed and burned so to speak you know i would even say crash and burn this shit found a volcano and dived headway in breath <laughs> yo this thing this thing for some reason this thing found a volcano and said yo it's time to go swimming and that shit just went up in flames at, at in 2011 and i don't know if anyone even know about this anime and probably if 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 i'm probably if anyone even watching this video they're instantly gonna be like oh shit that's fractal because this shit is surrounded by so much drama and so much so much nonsense that i believe is what killed the anime in its time yeah i believe that's what killed the anime and there's a there's a perpetrator the own creator is the individual that fucking caused his own demise like he he basically just opened his mouth a bit too much he he, you know he's like one of them he's like one of them uh, them protagonists that boasts you get me they beat their chest you know like me me the top dog around here ain't it like they try to proclaim something that hasn't come to light yet it's not come to pass you know you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to state state what's going what's going to be in the future but the future hasn't been written yet you understand what i mean and in the anime community you can't bring them type of you can't bring them type of type of powers here brev you know the anime community at them time 2011 the original anime lovers brev i feel like 2011 is when is when shit changed you know because uh, 2011 is when simul casting was coming in and um you know i think netflix was picking up things funimation was picking up things so the whole anime community was going through a, a transition I, I personally feel in it you started to get more people that was that was coming onto anime whereas before that you had the individual that had to shun away from from saying that they liked anime me myself was an individual that didn't give a fuck i was screaming out loud because naruto was fucking wavy the fuck one piece was one piece was yo everybody was like no 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 fuck anime where you know they didn't want evil girls to know that they watch anime you know the man them that liked anime was like quiet they was silent but then 2011 come now everything's coming to the internet everyone is getting a little bit piece of it now is when it got this 20 20 20 2024 covid time this is when it got it got peak you know this this whole different generation now watching anime but 2011 was a whole transition and this brother beat his chest a bit too loud and fuck this anime up he caused this anime its downfall and i wouldn't say it's just him there's a lot of other entities that caused this downfall it being it being released when steingate was coming in uh, madoka and i think penguin drum i haven't i don't even know but then I, I looked into it and they said that um those were like the big animes at that time i was like steingate this shit didn't have a chance you know created by a1 as well a1 that's doing solo leveling now i think it was a1 and audit or i don't even know who audit is i don't even know let's see let's see who i don't even know who audit is company okay you know what as well okay no um, let's stay let's stay let's see what these men do oh they did black rock shooter okay okay so okay you see he was also the individual that did this yeah wake up girls and this is our when he did <laughs> just to show okay just to show how fuck this whole situation is yeah this brother basically and this brother this brother is called this brother is called um yutaka Yama, yamamoto uh yamakan i think they call him he was the main director yeah and like i said he beat his chest a bit too loud and that shit just echoed and and somehow fell into a volcano and it blew, blew up 
The way he fucked up is when he was like, he hate for some reason he had some vendetta against Moe. And you know, he, <laughs> he had some vendetta. He had some weird hate for Moe. He, Moe thing, Moe anime. And he felt like felt like the whole anime uh, world was changing and he was he was given the right. He was given the power. He was knighted by the anime gods to fucking change this this direction in where anime was progressing to where he in his head believed anime was going towards he was given the knight and shining armor he was knighted boom boom you my son are given the right to change anime history and that's where fractal came in you know he beat him chest saying yo this is gonna be the best this is gonna be the best anime this is gonna be the best thing than sliced bread yeah this is gonna be the best thing this is gonna be the best thing than sword out, than sword out online this is gonna be the best thing than fucking sword, solo leveling my man said this is gonna be the best thing in the history of history of history of anime history and i stake my fucking reputation on that i'm bitching this bird just chatting to the people and be like this anime is gonna revolutionize the whole anime world this is going to change everything, you know, and I stake my fucking reputation on that shit. Tutu's that shit flopped and um, he was supposed to quit. He was supposed to resign. Somehow he didn't. You think you can do this to me? King Kong ain't got shit on me. 2020, 2014, he fucking jumped on. He, yeah, I think he is the director for this as well, isn't it? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's the director. He's a director for this as well. Yep, yep. I saw his name came and went. Where did that she go? Where did that she go? Mr. Blood Clot Yamamoto. Yeah, he's a director for this as well. And he said there will be no more dancing in fucking anime. But let's let's jump into the anime that Mr. Mr. Man said he was not there will be no more dancing in his shit. He said. Yeah, Mr. Man that staked his whole fucking career on this thing for, so for whatever reason. I don't know why he, he had. Thing is, I felt like he was just confident. He was just he was just so confident, and I kind of respect his confident. But I don't know. And he, it's a thing where it's a thing where I actually enjoyed the anime until episode eight. <laughs> I enjoyed the anime until episode 8. I felt like when episode 8 hit, and it's not like it's the best anime, but it's not bad. It's nowhere near bad. I've seen terrible animes, yeah? And it's above, I'm not average, it's above average, yeah? But after episode, when episode 8 touched, it felt uh, repetitive for me, yeah? Understand? Like, I don't want to spoil anything for if someone's trying to jump into the anime, but it felt like you're doing the same shit over again just to end it at episode 11. You understand? I feel like episode 8 felt like, okay, shit. We need to end this thing now. It's still because I've seen where man and be like, yo, oh shit, we need to end this. And that shit ended like. <laughs> but this one ended more like on a it was gliding. You know what I'm saying? It was gliding down a, down to episode 11. Where it wasn't a fucking terrible crash and burn into the volcano plummet. But it was more a gliding type vibe, personally speaking. But it, yeah, it, it episode eight, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it didn't fill me with okay this was a ah oh, i enjoyed fully one million percent watching this anime like it was it was above average like i like i was i was it wasn't bad to the point i'm not watching it i'm skipping episodes i want to see what's going on next it was an interesting plotline interesting story the animation was good the character development character development was good because I, I had the main character i'm gonna jump into him as well but let's let's see what let's okay so this is like his 90 percent dancing I don't know. Drop in the comments. Hey, oh, okay. See? <laughs> so for the man that says, yeah, we ain't gonna do no more dancing, he had to jump back into it. He didn't do his, he didn't stand true to his his boasting of oh yeah, man's gonna retire. Fuck Moe. Fuck doing dancing. But nah, he had to he had to yo, the anime com community I felt like they eat this man alive. The anime community said, Oh, you have you gonna chat you gonna chat tough, bro. Yeah, you gonna chat big. Okay, cool, cool. That man said, I'll make you know who runs shit around here. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Let's jump into let's also jump into the characters, yeah? Let's jump into characters, which is which is oh, wait, that was a woman's voice. Oh, she done well. She done well then. I didn't even pick up I didn't even pick up that was a woman's voice. And it was Kobayashi. Cause I've seen this name before. What was she? What she done? Oh, and she's in the recent um 
She's in the recent re this recent dungeon eating. I think it's like a eating food in dungeon. She's in this as well as a supporting character. I don't even know who. I seen her name before. Oh, she did um my show content as well. The black cover. Yeah, I see it. Okay, I know I seen her name somewhere, but there's something that her name stand out for some. For a specific anime, I don't know what it is. Okay, we can see she was into this as well. Is it Kome Kome Sensei or some shit like that? Kome 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 something like that? Oh! She was Sasha. Maybe this is what I saw her name in. I remember seeing her. I remember researching her name once. I remember researching her name. Uh, uh, maybe it was this enough. I was, re I was I've been watching this recently. But yo, she's she's a veteran. She looks like she'd be doing bad, bad things. So we can see her. It looked like she was. Her main thing was Sasha. So she was doing good. Was in Steingate as well. Oh, so she veteran. She veteran. She veteran. She vetted. She vetted. She vetted. So you can see, bruv, that she had she had potential. You know, it, I feel like what gave what made this shit burn was just what it was, was surrounding it. At that time, 2011, when Simon Cassin was coming out, that man's had had problems with pirate pirating things. I think that man's also hear the first episode, and then the second episode was like, nah, fuck you, man's we ain't gonna get, we ain't gonna hear. We need you man to sort out. That man said, yo, we need you man to. That man said to Funimation, we need you man to sort this shit out and take down every single pirating thing on the whole internet like, that was even fucking possible like that was never even gonna get done but yeah that was basically what was going on yeah it, the anime was just surrounded by a lot of it's a lot of female roles this motherfucker i don't want to spoil nothing i don't want to go into too much details but there's there's even certain certain bits in the anime that wasn't too clear like you you have to do guesswork like i had to be like okay is this what this motherfucker was doing like i can see but it didn't it didn't quite say it but it, you know you can say okay you know what this mother i don't like this motherfucker you know but it, it doesn't fully tell you which which i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing okay so you can see that man's had that man had some decent that man had some decent voice like though her name looked familiar as well kana seen her name before something big seen her name before knew it <laughs> i knew it i knew it i knew it man i knew it my girl mitsuri bro my girl mitsuri i knew it see yo there was big yo i didn't even know there were big voice actors in this shit big voice actors in this shit i personally did enjoy it to a point yeah i'm not gonna say that this is the, the this this was terrible i'm not gonna say it was oh my god this was trash it was it was an enjoyable watch and i, I finished it you know it, it it was an enjoyable watch like like a lot of people i was looking at or looking at some other people and they're like oh this is terrible blah 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 blah. i feel like just what surrounded the whole thing is what made it terrible there was just so much drama the fucking the fucking director shot himself in the foot by just talking too fucking big he was just he basically he basically killed his own anime he, he he ruined his own his own shit yeah he was chatting too big and it was just it came out in a time that it just couldn't compete with the with the other the other animes time gate was just there there were just other animes that you better you mostly like to watch but i found the story intriguing animation well done and yeah that's all i'm gonna have to say regarding this should you watch it i think you should i think you should give it a try at least jump into the first episode second episode see if it's something that you that you like you know see if it's something that is your vibe it gave off it's them you know why i actually like it it gave off that older the older energy you know what i mean it gave off that older end type of anime like it felt like it felt like and this is not comparing the two this is never comparing the two it felt like the adventure of the full metal alchemist by a minimal minimal sense don't it's not <laughs> nowhere close <laughs> nowhere it's nowhere close but it gave off that i don't know if anyone understand me it gave off that 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 older that older je ne sais quoi you know it gave off that older energy that older vibe and that's why i said you know what whoa okay episode one was good episode two was good i jumped into episode three like i finished the whole thing yeah i finished the whole thing i was it's like it's like a manga page that you just you had to keep skipping because there was the story was decent i felt like the story lost it after episode eight but it still it still reached the finish line 
and I still reached the finish line with a smile. That's all I can say. That's it. That's fractal. That's my jump on talk discussion review type thing. If you guys want to watch it, you guys watch it. Jump into episode one. Let me know what you guys think about these kind of videos. I'm going to see if I can do more as well. This is going to be a recurring thing from now on as well. I'm going to get better at this the more I do it. I want to also give a big shout out to the recent subscribers. You guys have been beautiful. I'll I'll add I'll add the recent subscribers in this video as well. Um, I wasn't gonna do that, but I'm gonna add a, a image of the recent subscribers. So I'm gonna be doing more shout out for the subscribers because yo, you guys have been beautiful. I, I I'm not gonna say that enough. You guys have been beautiful. So until next time, y'all the bigs out. Go let me the out. I'ma see you guys in the next dis discussion. Peace out.